So welcome back guys to another tutorial. This is going to be um, a tutorial of me making, trying to render this cup. So when starting out, there was, uh, I had a few issues. So that's why you're going to see that I'm going to be first sketching out various patterns of various cup versions because there was a specific uh, idea that I wanted as you can see here I was trying to sketch in two point perspective because there was there was a specific cup that I wanted it, it and I was trying to do that out of uh, memory so that's why you're going to see that for the first few minutes I'm going to be sketching uh, kind of on and off like but again this serves to, to show that you don't have to always be uh, perfect at what you do but you always just have to practice so these are essentially various versions of uh, cups but you don't have to worry too much about that if you want you can skip this part and just straight away go to uh, the point uh, in this video where you see where I begin painting uh, doing the real uh, drawing so my main try why, why I was trying a various strategies here I, because I wanted to sketch in two point perspective and it took me some time to get the, the the right perspective or close to the perspective that I wanted but uh, soon enough of course I I got it and so I've sped up this video but I hope that I'll be able to explain a few things on what I'm doing because of course this whole process took me a very long time and I wouldn't wish that um, I was too much of a time looking at explaining each and every simple detail but if there is anything that you don't understand in the tutorial I'll be uh, more than willing to help you out of course uh, you can comment you can leave comments in the comment section below or you can send me an email or connect with me on instagram all my links are in the description below probably i'll put some as well so here is where we start and as you can see first of all i laid down paths there are various ways you can do it but this one i i decided to explore the uh, the idea of using paths parts parts so as you can see i use the pen tool and with the pen tool it's very very easy because you're not going to be painting off the edges okay so that's why some i decided to use paths and it's also a very good practice because they are not it's they're not so intuitive for me so it was a very good learning experience for me so here as you can see when you're done with, when i'm done with the path all i have to do is select the specific part that i want for example uh, when i want the facade the front facade of this cup all i have to do is select the path that is in front and then i work with that okay so that's what you're seeing me here doing and if you need if you want me to explain how i use path i'll be I'm probably making it a tutorial let me know whether I should do that or not so here I'm just basically laying out uh, various shapes blocking out shapes as you can see now here with the selection tool I then uh, put in the best color of the cup so actually I had done this earlier but because of uh, my screen resolution what I see on the screen is actually a little bit different I, I think my monitor my yeah, monitor my screen display needs some calibration and I don't really know how to do it so that's why I haven't done it so I just assumed values so they might not be very accurate to what I wanted but it gets pretty close to the idea okay. so here again 
using the selection tool helps me to make those very very fine edges so if you want to kind of begin out with making very fine edges because for me i use the wacom one the wacom one it's a small tablet it doesn't really it's not so accurate when you try to paint uh, so that's why i kind of use pass to help me uh, speed up the process otherwise uh, this tutorial would have taken me uh, twice the time to paint without the path. Okay, so that's why I use paths. And so here you can see then that when I'm doing this, when I'm using very dark colors, I'm trying to paint glossy. So to make it feel like it's a, a glossy or like ceramic kind of uh, material the ceramic kind of cup again if you haven't watched those videos on, on how to paint ceramics or paint various materials there is uh, a video on my youtube channel please check that out but otherwise it's again just me trying to uh, paint glossy so the thing is that when you're painting kind of glossy material is you're going to have uh, very very defined like very dark areas and very light areas okay so that's something to keep in mind here I'm trying to paint in a table so I was assuming that it's going to be seated on, on the table so that's the the dark brown area you see down there okay and then so as you can see now here, because of the path that I created earlier, I just use selections and uh, I make a very, very clear defined boundary. So you can see that very, very uh, bright area that when you, when you work with that and you combine it with various shapes, that's when you realize that it will then begin to look like a glossy material okay so that's a technique that you can use so combining these shapes together like putting uh, the extreme colors together like very dark color out with a, a very bright color it most of the time it gives that illusion of uh, of glossiness or reflection to say so that's what you're seeing what i'm doing even down there now is i'm trying to replicate the same put highlights on the on the plate so that it looks like a reflection because i think i tried to flip this but since it's in perspective uh, the result wasn't really really good uh, it's in two point perspective so flipping it doesn't really give the desired result that i wanted blending here so there you can see that i'm just blending those areas uh, i just get the color picker and with a soft brush the normal brush i just use that brush and uh, begin so as you can see now it's starting to take shape it's now starting to feel like a a curvy plate and it's those areas of light and shadow starting to look like uh, true reflections okay so that's what i was going for so here i'm now painting um, the coffee and uh, you know those whatever the actually i don't i have never so here what i was trying to do is i was trying to make this in this is a very tricky area because most people don't most people i don't know maybe some people can't really do it easily but uh, when you when you're doing in when you're painting a material in perspective when you're doing this so all of them have to be like planner like they have to be on the same plane so that's why you see that i i spent a, quite a little bit of time here because i was trying to get this right and whatever iterations i was coming up with were not really uh, giving me the desired results as you can see so it's a very very tricky area but uh, one one very good technique that you can do here is when you go to your soft brushes you 
it, you can just change the the angle of your soft brushes. I noticed that later on, of course. But once you change the angle of your soft brushes, it's, it kind of begins to paint the way you want. If you're painting in perspective, it could help. But here I wasn't doing that because I wasn't. I didn't know about it at that time, and also I didn't. Uh, this brush here is just a drawing brush, and it doesn't really have that kind of twisting and turning, whatever they call it. So here I just I decided to do it manually, and I just I didn't go for the normal things that I normally see in the cup of coffee you know like they use their heart normally but for me I, I decided to bring in a different gesture like a bird yeah like a bird okay so it's kind of like just some form of different artwork I just I just wanted to see something that complicated and try to paint it in very very clearly so that's why you're seeing that uh, it's kind of different it's it's not going to be a heart like or a love shape you know that heart shape yeah it's not going to be that because uh, it's 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 very very common so you can in your practice you can do whichever design you want you can maybe use a heart symbol or you can use uh, whichever one you want it's it's fine okay so right here now when 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 you're done here now you can see that it's kind of seated but now i need to correct proportions there of course my proportions are not right of course this whole process you could just pull out curves and just use the selection tool and make perfect curves and shapes but it's very important also that you take time to practice these things so if if you're doing a project on your own like i was doing this one uh, you you can take time and practice right so you don't have to catch to make shortcuts or or, or all the time so sometimes you 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 you've got to take the the longer route so this is what i did here it's like i didn't i could have just gotten the the ellipse tool and then just made perfect circles and yeah, but i didn't want to do that i just I had to practice so yeah that's why i did that so here you can see that it's kind of still not realistic because there is no shadow and the next part of course would be to work on the shadows so working on the shadows is just you just you can just over maybe just put like uh you can just put let's say you can just put the layer on multiply but that doesn't really matter okay so maybe before that here i'm going back to uh, here now i'm you see that flat surface now i'm trying to add uh, here i was trying to add dimension to this top of the cup so by doing by blending so i'm blending the the edges so you can see that uh, there is kind of some form of dimension on the cup so here is the shadow of course the shadow gave me a little bit of hard time as well i later on i noticed that maybe i should have changed the, the table also but it doesn't really matter so by blurring the the shadow i managed to come up with something very nice so this is this is how you paint in uh, uh, in perspective this is how you can paint a cup so just just try on your own try to see if you can do this but if i don't know which best way to do this but if you know any way that i can kind of deliver this because I'm looking for strategies and ways to kind of make this work for for you so uh, if you have any suggestions on how I should deliver this content 
I would appreciate if you can leave in it in the comment section below because I have like this, this can take hours sometimes it can take me like five hours when I'm painting people it can take me a lot of time so I don't want to paint uh, to like waste your time giving you 11 hour content or 5 hour content so if you have any propositions on how I should go about it or if you just want speed painting without any explanation let me know I'll leave it at this uh, feel free to connect with me uh, ask me any questions you want and uh, I'll be glad to help so this is all I had for you today just go create stay awesome be amazing till next time peace